Uh, the thing a lot of people notice right away is uh, the OLED screen. Uh, you know, Razer, we love uh, offering gamers, you know, customizable options, and th this one's great. I mean, you can go in the program mode, and the cool thing about this is there's actually four additional buttons on rockers back here. Yeah. You can screw these off if you don't want them, but uh, they're great for first-person shooters because you can run around, program these buttons to do what you want, and sprint, you know, uh, knife, and do all those things without having to take your hands off the sticks. So if you go in the program mode, you can actually hold a button on the back, hold one of the rockers, and let's set it to A. Set the A, it rumbles, lets you know it's there, and it's it's done. So I get out of program mode, and that'll actually, that'll be A. So you can see me, I'm actually going through the menus, hitting A by using this rocker back here. So we're, we're, we're excited about that. I love the fact that it actually shows up on the screen there, because to me, especially uh, having a controller at home where I want to reprogram, mm -hmm. and you're like, are you sure I actually programmed it there? Did it work? Mm -hmm. You have you know, those kind of options. Yeah, you know, it, it's not the largest screen in the world, but I mean, it's actually, it's super intuitive. I mean, you have two profiles there, switch back and forth, program mode, test mode, you can turn the rumble on and off. I kind of like, I kind of like the rumble mode, because it rumble off, no, rumble on. Rumble on yeah, exclamation it, it, point like and yeah screen, it's yeah. it's 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 pretty cool I mean, it's you know it's not the biggest screen in the world but it, you know it does everything you'd want it to do so. and the fact that I can play you know my favorite PC games you know on a, on a big screen television I mean it, it doesn't get much better than that nice nah, it's got a detachable cord it does you know durability was a big focus with the saber too is because you know the Anza. Um, you know, we had we had some issues with the Anza, we'll be honest there. Um, and durability with, you know, the top of the controller here where it plugs into the, where the cord plugs into the controller was a big point of emphasis. And, you know, we, we feel like the Sabertooth is going to be um, an extremely durable Xbox controller. And that was that was some, that was a lot of the feedback we got from the Anza. And uh, we think we've, we've solved uh, those issues with the, with the Sabertooth. I also noticed there are two extra buttons at the top. Yeah, at the top. yeah, so there are six extra buttons on the controller if you count the rockers on the bottom. So you can actually program these buttons too uh, to be anything you you know you want on the controller, which is I mean, it's it's you know if that's set to X right now. Let's set it to A. So set to A. I can hold that button. I think I'm out of boost. There we go. So it'll 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 boost me around, but I have to be. That was kind of a weird button combination. I have to be holding the accelerator to boost. <laughs> so I probably want to set that to a rocker. But. Yeah. So what's the, uh, what's the price point on the Sabertooth? Sabertooth is 79 Okay. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of great reviews out there right now. Um, so I would definitely check out some of those. I mean, people, people have loved this controller so far. Okay. And it's only been out for a couple weeks. All right. Thank you very much. Sure.